Yo, what is up? This is your boy Guru back with a new video and today we are going straight into the uh, Twitch account because uh, there is Twitch Prime loot available for World of Tanks. Essentially, uh, the date is from the 29th of uh, March to 30th of April or something like that. So basically, if you click on it, it'll take you to your Twitch Prime thing. And as you can see, I've claimed mine. Uh, all you need to do to, to, to claim yours is link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account. Make sure your Twitch is uh, linked to your World of Tanks account. And basically, you can claim a prize every month up to February 2020. Yes, every month there's going to be care packages available for World of Tanks players. And you got a bunch of things like gold uh, decals. Like this month, you got this tiger decal with the um, uh, with the Prime you know, the crown thing. As you can see, you've got also the headset uh, inscription. You've got the decal thing, uh, the tiger decal thing, 250 gold, which is useful. And you've got two rental tanks, KV-122 and a Lorraine 40 ton, uh, which I will review today. And uh, the last thing was like, you know, a bunch of stuff uh, i think you got slots uh you've got fire extinguisher and repair kit that's pretty handy right so that's nice care package charlie this is of course the third gift from uh, the twitch partnership with world of tanks so that's really nice you're gonna get some kind of deal every month from now uh march 2019 to February 2020 man every month there's something so that's really excellent so I'm going to show you a little bit uh, about what the decal is uh, this is what the decal is the uh, tiger with the uh, purple crown twitch purple crown it's kind of cool if you have it you can put it uh, there's only one so you can only use it on one tank and I think you can only use it on the tier 8s or tier 10s if I'm not mistaken that's the way the decals work for the time being and also you have this um is this inscription what's it called again that thing that you can put onto the side of your tank anyway it's a headset it's either razor or I don't know maybe it's hyper x I'm not really sure but anyway it's kind of cool you get three of those which is uh, kind of cool use it for something and uh, don't forget to claim it uh, you can claim one every month from now until february 2020 that's that's a really good deal so it's a good time for you to link your amazon prime by the way you can get amazon prime for free uh, you just register uh, and you get the uh, free thing Here we go, today's video is about the Lorraine. This is my first game in the Lorraine 40T French medium tank. I've always wanted this tank. You know what, I should have claimed this prize just before the third week. Oh, that's the logo for the uh, the prize logo that you get with the Twitch and the headphones logo, which I put on this tank as well. But anyway, I should have claimed this prize like a week or two before episode three of um, Episode 3 of the, um, uh, what's that mode called again? That tier 8 only mode. Oh man, I forgot what it's called. You know what I'm talking about. The front lines, yeah, that's what I was one. That was what I was on about. I could have used this for front lines. This is like one of the best tanks for front lines uh, next to the Progetto. Uh, T44 100 those are amazing tanks these are amazing tanks for front lines so let's talk a little bit about this tank now it's only my first game so I don't know much about this tank but I it's a good thing I did some research before I started out uh, this tank has decent camo not the greatest of course um, but it's not terrible camo the Lenson has better better camo values and of course the T44 100 has better camo values uh, than this tank but it's got pretty okay camo values um, 
and the amazing thing about this tank is it's got a really good view range uh the view range that i'm getting out of this tank uh stock of course is 444 but uh, i've got the uh, bia crew i've got the um the recon for the commander i've got the uh situational awareness for the commander i've got food i've got vents i've got optics so i'm pushing for 80 plus view range on this tank which means if i can keep my camo up i've got amazing view range and i can spot people without getting spotted so i am going to abuse that mechanic when i'm driving this tank remember you've got great view range maybe not the best camo values but you have amazing view range so use that view range to your advantage uh, when you can make sure you have the BIAs, of course, you can put your medium tank crews into this, your best French medium tanks, AMX-30 crews, or your bad chat crews, your bad chat AP crews, you can put them in here. Make sure your crews are great and you will have a great time. This tank makes a lot of money as well because it's a premium tank. So beautiful three-man crew. Uh, if you've got the BIA, if you've got all the skills, it's going to be super fantastic, super duper turbo good. Now I'm running vents, uh, optics and vertical stabilizers and throughout this game I'm just going to be shooting AP shells as usual if I am in top tier tier 8 matchup there's no reason for me to shoot apcrs to be honest but if i'm facing tier 9s and 10s of course i'm going to be firing a lot more apcrs um the aim time is kind of it it's kind of potato uh the aim time is like 2.42 seconds which is like a little bit it reminds me a little bit of the lanson c that i just reviewed a couple of days ago it's not terribly good but it's not shit uh you do need to aim a little bit now i love playing um auto loading tanks so i'm i would say i'm a complete expert or pro at this um auto loading tanks but i play a lot of it to know that uh you need to time your clipping you need to time your reloads really well because you want to make sure that when you shoot on the auto reloaders or auto loaders anything that has more than one shells you want to be putting in minimum of two shells every time you shoot if you if you're peeking to just take one shot don't bother don't even bother taking one shot because you're just wasting your time when you're in an auto loader auto reloader anything with a magazine any kind of clip tank the minimum you want to do is two shots three shots if you're not doing two or three shots you're wasting your time peaking because you're risking taking a shot in return right so you need to make that worthwhile and another thing you need to know about auto re uh, um, auto loaders is when you want to clip when you want to reload if you're gonna if you if you expecting like a break in the gameplay uh, 20 seconds 10 seconds 15 seconds it might be a good time for you to reload if you only have you know two shells in a clip you might as well reload during that time so you need to practice um uh timing your reloads when you want to do that reload and once you get the hang of it it's a pretty fun tank to play because every time you shoot, you know you have four shells in the clip and you're ready to completely wreck someone's day. Like right here, I have four to go. If I connect them, it's going to be great. But if I don't look, I missed two, but I still have two more and he doesn't spot me. So I might as well just unload on him. If I known he was going to stop there or get tracked there, I would have like not shot him the first two times. So anyway this thing has an intro clip of two and a half seconds that means between shells it reloads two and a half seconds but your full clip is going to take you about 33 seconds uh to load it does 300 damage uh, 232 penetration on the standard ap shells and on the apcr shells you got 263 penetration and that's pretty good now mobility 60 kilometers per hour forward 23 kilometers an hour backward it is not by any means like a super agile or you know super fast tank but it is fast enough it does the job it's uh it's more than what you can ask for you know you it's perfect for what it does now what's really 
not so good about this tank is the uh, bloom. The dispersion is 0 0.34, which means it's a bit ass. So that is why you don't make all your shots. You saw me miss two shots out there on that SU-122 tank destroyer. And you hit two. So if you're not fully aimed and you know, and if you're not following around, then sometimes you miss your shots. Now right here, that Centurion is closing down on me. He didn't he didn't see me there because maybe he's got poor camo, uh, poor view range, or I have better camo than him, but I need to escape because he's gonna proxy, uh, proxy me, proxy spot me, and his teammates are gonna kill me if I stay there, so I had to run away. Now I use those bushes in between me and him to get away, make sure that he's not spotted, and now I'm out of his uh, view range I can make my way and escape to the back I, w I was a bit pissed off with my team there because all the tank destroyers completely left me on my own and uh, I was there on my s or by myself I could have died easily if I got proxy spotted by that uh, centurion so I'm glad I ran, ran away we're still down by two tanks but uh, we have a lot of health I mean not a lot but enough to fight them they're they're kind of low although they have more tanks than us but they're low on hp a lot of them are one shots so i'm gonna roll my dice on this uh this guy in the charity he's helping us out he's a he's a he's got three marks on his charity barrel so that's how you that's how you get your three marks you know camp at the back and snipe all the way that's how you get your three marks but i get the finishing kill on the scorpion there good job for me I'm gonna immediately reload even though I just fired one on him I'm gonna immediately reload and by the time I get to my next uh, position to spawn out the team or scout I'm gonna be already completely reloaded remember it takes about 30 seconds so I've got time to kill so as I make my way to the next uh, position that I spot I'm gonna align myself to the trees and make sure that the trees are covering my approach you get what I mean? So I'm approaching my potential spotting guys, the guys that I'm spotting, but I'm using these trees. And I spot him without him spotting me. I'm still unspotted here, which means that's really good for me. I can I can continue to push these guys without being spotted. They don't know how near or far I am. Now, I'm not going to risk uh, going out to push this guy, uh, sit in the open and try and finish him off because I know there's an th there's a serve there so he could shoot me twice or three times so it's, it's not gonna be worth it for me and there you go this was the guy and then we finally got him so now I've got two shells in the clip but I'm not gonna push forward so I'm gonna reload I'm not gonna push forward because that serve you know he's going to be farming me as i push forward and stirves have really good camo values so i don't want to take that risk he could have been on a low ground or he could have run away already so i don't want to push him and uh, waste my waste my energy waste my hp and take a big risk at uh, trying to finish him off but instead um the home base is getting attacked by the the lowy and uh, and uh, the other tanks so i'm gonna go back and try to make sure that my um spgs are don't get killed farmed or die and that scorpion as well so i want to go back and help them but they've they seem to have taken care of the issue themselves taken matters into their own hand and uh, just as well um we have we still have time to circle the map and do a final sweep looks like it's 12 to 9 this game is almost wrapped up uh it's looking pretty good for us uh for a long time there uh we were down on tanks uh, and it looked like we were going to lose the game but uh we managed to pull it back and uh, because that charioteer saved all his hp sniping from the back and i saved a lot of my hp by not going into town and I was sniping from, well, I wasn't exactly in the back, but uh, I was at the back sniping. So I saved my HP for the uh, mid to end game, which is kind of like the thing you want to do when you're in this kind of tank. You're really squishy and you're really useful only when the enemy team is almost uh, dead. Uh, Thankfully, my team killed him before they can take a shot. He can take a shot at me. Uh, quite fortunate there, once or twice, right? Looks like RT is shot. Uh, I don't have an indication of where he is, but uh, 
what I'm going to do is uh, tell my team to push up on the east side and uh, try to cover the east side and I want the scorpion to cover the uh, town side in case they ran into the town and hide into the town while me and the charioteer will try to push into their base and behind their base on the um, zero line. Now the reason why I'm doing this, I'm asking the scorpion to go to A1 and uh, the uh, SU-130 PM to cover the zero line is because we are running out of time as you can see we have like two three minutes on the clock so we don't want to um, we don't want this to be a draw you know a draw and a defeat is the, is the same thing basically uh, you don't get any kind of stat that says you had a draw so you don't want to draw if if you're in a situation where you can win the game you try to win the game you don't want to you don't want to draw unless you want to deny deny the uh, enemy team from winning that's the only reason you wouldn't want to draw but if you have the upper hand you want to try and go for that win even if it means you're going to lose uh, a bit of hp or you're going to lose your hp but your team is going to finish out the game for me uh, looks like we know where the serve is i'm going to try and avoid him uh, avoid from taking another shot and uh, close down the distance at the same time and there he is finally see him and i get the finishing shot as well gg that was a pretty easy game and first game and i got an ace tanker wow that doesn't happen very often but when it happens it's really sweet uh, 3000 plus damage um really happy for myself and look at a look at that a lot of credits you earn if you are uh, just shooting uh, AP shells but uh, you know if you have to shoot APCR shells against tier 9s what can you do about that but if you are in tier 8 games tier 7 games you might as well shoot AP and roll your dice and make a lot of credits in one game and that was an amazing game for me I'm really happy about that uh, and if you can get your hands on this Lorraine for the cheap or on sale or whatever get this this is one of the best thanks tier for tier in this game thanks for watching this video i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the next one bye bye